It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hi hey, beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. Uh, so if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, of course. But also, Aries, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well, because it does help me out a lot, Aries and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Um, but remember Aries, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, darling, and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, Aries, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's get into your weekly horoscope today. Now Aries, I want to see where it is you guys are currently at, how you guys are feeling right now, my beautiful Aries. And the first card comes out, the Nine of Earth, the Nine of Pentacles. I really love this energy for you, Taurus. <laughs> I love this energy for you, Aries, uh, because this card says, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, and successful self-employment. And so, yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is usually an energy, uh, Aries, of someone who's feeling very self-sufficient right now. So Someone who uh, very much so uh, reminiscent for my TikTok reading that I did recently as well, where I kind of gave, I was saying, just like you, some of y'all have a really strong idea for some type of self-employment, something that would help you out uh, financially and really s sustain you in some way. And so the nine of earth is kind of coming in as a similar message for you, Aries. You guys are really, it feels like you guys are exuding um, it doesn't have to be financial, but it's like you're taking extra time to start uh, to focus on creating the things that you're trying to create to manifest the things that you're trying to bring into your life. So whether that's you just putting in extra hours at work, Aries, um, or, you know, putting in investing more time into the people that you love and are around you, it does feel like uh, whatever it is, you're just making more time, making more of an investment uh, for something that for some aspect facet of your life that uh, you care about. So really good energy. Let's me know that you guys Aries are in a very productive state at this time, you know, so I don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, let's get some clarifiers for this now, Aries. Let's see if we can go a little bit deeper, darling. Let's see here. Let me know how you guys this week has been so far, Aries. How did you guys manage through uh, Mercury retrograde? Oh my gosh, I say Mercury retrograde and the cards just go flying, honey. Um, I don't feel like taking, well, no, we're going to take these, okay? Set this up accordingly. So let's get the first card. Page of Swords. Okay, so with this, how you guys are putting in this new energy is through communication. You guys have had your eye on something for a while, Aries. Um, something that you've been contemplating with. You know, maybe uh, you guys, I am being shown, uh, you guys kind of... Uh, standing at like the at the cliff of something Aries um where it's like you've been gambling or dabbling with the idea of doing something and you just kept a careful watch I don't know if you just have been waiting for the perfect timing Aries is that something that you've been considering right with this page of air but you've kept a watchful eye on it and I see you guys just taking more action on this so let's get uh continue on with this we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Earth coming in for you as well, really affirming this sense of where you're having your eyes on the prize. You guys are really uh, Aries at this current point. Um, really, yeah, it seems like you've identified how you want to go about doing something. Tulip is really trying to get her moment. You already are the intro, darling. All right with <laughs> sorry about that Aries with this ace of pentacles though you guys have had your eye on the prize for something for quite a while and you guys yeah this is really confirming to me you guys have just been waiting for the perfect timing to take action on this thing that you've been kind of holding off on for some time and I see you guys once you do and continue on with this action uh, especially with this ace of pentacles you're going to be making the most out of it right the more energy you put into it the more effort you put into this I feel like the uh, greater effect it will have and I feel like you get this sense as well Aries and that's why now you're see I'm seeing this as you taking action yeah knight of pentacles uh this is coming in going you know continuing on in this journey this is uncomfortable you know really stepping out of your comfort zone with something Aries but 
it's very interesting you guys are challenging yourself i feel whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your life you know you're getting a lot of earth energy so maybe it makes sense as to why i slipped up and said taurus for some of y'all maybe you guys have some taurus in your chart um or in, but really i feel like you guys are just really relating to earth energy this week of where really focusing on the stability really focusing on just creating at this time with this knight of pentacles you're just pushing your comfort zone in the name of chasing after this ace of pentacles naturally Aries, so really good productive state that y'all are in let's do one more card we have the four of pentacles so this is in the reverse so this is involving you pulling out of uh, from other things no longer sinking energy or wasting your time uh i'm getting aries on things that uh let's get in one more what are you pulling your energy out of uh three of pentacles in the reverse as well so you're pulling yourself out of past commitments um aries pulling yourself out of other you know maybe you're trying to spread yourself too thin perhaps aries um and trying to do too many things at once so i see you kind of pulling out of your and uh pulling out from things that you've been currently doing that maybe perhaps were work was working for you at one point um and now yeah i just see this as more so you acknowledging yourself areas that you need to get out of your comfort zone and you're taking every action to get out of that right you realize that maybe perhaps you've been uh playing it safe for a little bit too long right um and you're kind of just seeing, realizing that you are now at a point where you have to play ball darling you're playing ball you're you're throwing yourself into the arena finally finally allowing yourself to be seen um i'm seeing aries so i celebrate you for that darling so now let's continue on how does this journey continue on for my aries we have the eight of fire coming in here the eight of wands this card says events moving at a fast pace delays are over now uh, many things happening at once so naturally uh this continues on with this energy i always say with the eight of wands um aries this is the card of where you're doing trial and an trial and error picking up things seeing how it feels and then dropping the things that don't feel right to you in the name of figuring out it's almost like you're trying to figure out your flow right now Aries. trying to figure out like where you where you your unique self fits into the picture um very much so i don't know if you guys are having a little bit of an identity crisis that's something more so intuitive intuitively that i'm getting aries nothing to do with the tarot itself so i'm just throwing that out there for those that do resonate with my intuitive messages um but getting back to the actual physical sense of this reading let's continue on we have the five of swords coming in here so you guys are really disengaging from old ways uh aries i really do get this sense now for you guys like um i don't know it just feels like uh, it's an interesting dynamic aries because i'm not necessarily getting the sense of where like the things that you were doing before were not servicing you but it just almost feels like you're being like no i need to do better i need to grow more right like you know for somebody else they would just naturally be like oh well i'd be happy with the situation but for you aries you're just like no like i'm ready to continue on pushing myself more and more it just feels like this it's not bad energy aries but it's just like this weird sense of where it's like i'm just getting like a lot of empowerment but at the same time it's through you um it's like self-motivation it's like you're kind of like adding some more disruption to your life for your just for your own benefit which is beautiful it just is like it's interesting uh the king of swords naturally did you guys recently have like a really uh honest conversation with yourself aries or something that there's something that gave you a perspective shift i feel king of swords five of swords that led you to uh almost tapping out from something from before kind of like i feel like something happened or that triggered you aries to realize that you need to like push yourself if that makes sense three of swords in the reverse healing as well like it's <sighs> i feel like this is kind of similar not similar but this is definitely tapping into your last week's reading aries where it's like through some type of emotional or mental freedom that you had um you really started creating and so it's showing to me you're healing from like yeah it's almost like you're starting to feel a lot more like yourself of recent days uh aries and let's close this off five of wands in the reverse i love this a lot um because this is showing to me like the conflicts that you've been experiencing you know even with this three of swords the pain that you've been experiencing if other party members are involved um we'll just consider this like the struggle 
right? The overall struggle. This dynamic of these two cards are in the upright area is full of transparency, darling. This would be like, oh, you're really fighting with somebody, right? You're really going out and having some words. Um, but this being in the reverse, it just shows to me where it's like, things are just starting to go a lot more smoothly. It feels like even I can be bold enough to say, Aries, it feels like even the relationships in your life right now are starting to just feel better. Like you're just feeling a lot more like yourself. Um, and I feel like it's just through you finally experiencing some normalcy because you're experiencing that level of normalcy in this one aspect of your life right it's almost giving you this sense of freedom to really push yourself from the, from for some other facet of your life if that makes sense because i don't feel like these two are related necessarily um so let's see how this pans out for you aries we have the page of air naturally the page of swords uh this card says challenging information delays or changes to plans truth delivered without tact so um, this being the re the result, uh, this kind of goes back into what we were saying before, because you did pull the page of swords from before, remember Aries. Um, I do feel like you're kind of just having like a uh, full circle moment with something, right? This week, I feel like you're, by the end of this week, you're gonna really appreciate uh, the journey that you've been on up until this point and really be able to appreciate the growth that you've been exuding. Uh, Nine of Swords in the reverse uh, coming in here. Very beautiful. This is oddly like we started out with Earth energy, right? Where you're creating and manifesting um, Aries. And now you're, we're shifting into the results being like such a, it's so uh, heavily focused Aries on just your mental, no longer experiencing that anxiety, no longer sleeping those sleepless nights. Aries, you probably have noticed that you've been sleeping a little bit better, having a little bit more of a restful sleep, I would say. Knight of Cups in the reverse. What's this about, though, darling? With the Knight of Wands in the upright. I want to get one more. We have the Temperance card with the Nine of Cups. So I pulled so many right now, Aries, because this is such an interesting uh direction of a message for this because it does feel like you're like with this knight of cups in the reverse it does feel like you're making some type of sacrifice um some type of personal sacrifice with this nine of cups here like it's for the best um but with this temperance card here too it's like you're making some type of personal sacrifice because you're playing the long game with something um in the name of some type of passion right something that whatever like initially that we talked about like that caught, spurred this like motivation from you um areas it feels like you're making some type of personal sacrifice um in the name of whatever this objective goal that you have for yourself so i don't know if you guys are just like you know maybe not taking as much time off now um having as much personal me time right um but let's see is this like a good thing though and yeah uh with the three of cups in the upright for you this is showing to be like a pretty good thing this is like it's almost like one of those time series where the sacrifices you do make you feel really good about them um i would i am getting this sense here though that Aries, I just, I don't know. It just is interesting. I want to pull one more because I just is the world card coming in the reverse. Yeah, it just feels like, it just feels like for you, Aries, overall, that this is just going to be a week where, um, you identify like finally and are starting to make a move into like where it is you need to go right i feel like you kind of already have known this for a while that this has kind of been the inevitable and so now you're making like perhaps just like the personal sacrifice on uh, in terms of like your own discomfort like i feel like you're just making yourself uh really uncomfortable this week in the name of growth so it's i've celebrated you for that um big time aries so yeah let's wrap up this reading now for you though let's get into uh what uh what's going on for your financial uh not your financial areas my bad let's see what's going on for your romantic and social life this week right what's going on for my aries social life this week we have the queen of water this is a really good card to be having for your social life darling aries this queen of water queen of cups this says relationships developing into a new level trusting your intuition and caring for yourself and others so this is definitely a week where um i feel like this is partially why like you're 
during your general portion of your reading, Aries, why your mental health was looking like it's improving so much is just because, like, it feels like you're just getting, you're feeling really good about the relationships, the relationships that you're having in your life right now. It feels like you're feeling very secure in them. Uh, we have the Four of Cups coming in here. Maybe this is a sign for some of you Aries where it's like, um... Again, I feel like this is a, similar to what I had for your social reading social reading as well last week, Aries, where it's like someone that you weren't really considering um, at one point uh, to get closer to in your life anymore. Emperor card in the reverse. Yeah, there seems to be like you had some reservations when it came to opening up or connecting to an energy, Aries. And it does feel like now that you've been working on yourself, like whatever mental shift has happened for you, um, you're kind of able to appreciate some type of some person in your life that you weren't able to appreciate before and then the knight of pentacles trying to come out again for you aries confirming to me where it's like yeah like this is partially what's like it feels almost just like a connection that you had in your life aries that or rather that you have that has been kind of probably a little bit uncomfortable a little bit awkward for a while now um it feels like you know with because i do feel like you guys went through such a heavy mental shift um aries it feels like you you are now like oh, like starting to explore a connection um a little bit more and see like what more this has to offer giving something like you know perhaps even a second chance i don't know if some of you aries are giving something a second chance or maybe you like the other party doesn't even have to know aries but like just maybe like you were mentally checked out from this person before and you're just opening up to them and the idea of uh connecting with them again so i like this a lot for you aries now let's start getting into your now your financial and career darling let's see what's going on for my aries and their financial and career this week ace of earth ace of pentacles right this card is consistently coming up for y'all aries the inflow of abundance this card says a promising business venture important documents and contracts so yeah you guys are really you know i would say ultimately the bad like there seems to be a theme for you, Aries, where it's like the better your social relationships are, or rather the relationships that you have in your life, uh, for a simpler way of saying, the better your relationship health is with the people in your life, the more productive that you're able to be. Um, and so I would really, I do feel like this is a, like, I don't feel like it's a uh, coincidence that these two are really correlated um, for you. Ten of Wands in the reverse coming up for you. Yeah, this is all just associated with just like baggages being lifted, right? I feel like even now recently, especially with it's showing such a... My cat is like randomly like doing something weird. What's going on, darling? Um, it does feel as if like Aries, a lot of you guys have overcome like whatever blockages that you've had with your money from before. Dare I say if it is involving you know, with that nine of pentacles from before for my self-employed Aries, um, the biggest mental, like the biggest obstacle that you've been going through when it comes to your money has just been like your own financial, like what you've been going, like mentally have allowed yourself. Maybe you haven't been pushing yourself nearly as much financially just because you haven't been wanting to put yourself out there. But King of Wands is confirming to me when it's in the upright, you're just feeling extremely motivated. You're finally taking action, Aries, in terms of putting yourself out there further so you can get into reach this ace of pentacles this ace of earth it just feels like you're making the most out of uh, things now ace of pentacles tries to show up again for you i was shuffling this um because i felt the usually i keep the deck completely unshuffled when i'm using it aries but i felt something told me to like shuffle the deck and um i can see understand why they wanted to have these messages come in yeah you guys are just chasing after your prize right now the hanged man in the reverse uh coming in as this message of where it's just you see it almost see, it shows to me aries you see where it is like you have been sabotaging and blocking your own way of financial freedom and now you're getting you're removing yourself from being in the way or like you're removing the obstacles that have kept you in the way of adopting much more financial freedom and so you're just taking a lot more of a initiative in your life right so i'm really proud for you in that regard aries so that is the weekly horoscope reading that i have for you today though aries i hope you enjoyed this reading uh if you'd like to book a private reading with me personal reading with me my website's down below simplyvelka.com let me know what card 
cards resonated with you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading, Aries. Also, if you'd like to follow me on any of my social medias, t uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, darling, it's all just simply Velka. Um, but I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Aries. I love you so much. Bye.